Mr. Koontz. All right? Uh, hey. Koontz, want a beer? My wife thinks I fuck prostitutes, Ray. They're pros, Ray. They say all the right things. I mean, they're hookers, but also they're... They are what they are. Right. And so am I. They ask me every time, do I work out at the gym? I mean, it's pretty neat, right? I'm the greatest lover they ever had. They tell me that, Ray. I'm the best lover they ever had. Oh, it's gotta be pretty neat, too. They're lying, Ray. I know they're lying, but I don't care. Dan Fry, I represent Mr. Hughes, and I've talked to my client, and I'd like you to explain why he's still being held without any charges being filed. Well, maybe there won't be any, if I can get a few things explained. Like what? He threatened Donna when she would not tell him where his wife... Unrelated. No evidentiary value. Next question. Look familiar. Don't answer that. Look, uh, no more questions about this homicide. You want to make an arrest? You're letting them go, but we've been standing here for over an hour. How does that happen? Sir, if we don't rebook them, they'll miss their flight. Oh, so it doesn't matter that you canceled my first flight and then rerouted me twice. I understand. Just get your boss. This is ridiculous. Sir, please don't make her do that. She's doing the best she can. I don't okay? think I was talking to you. No, I realize that. Listen, I'm just please, trying sir. to get... Um. She's the only one standing between us getting out of here at all and total anarchy. Yeah, but she's not the she's one in charge. She's exhausted, she's worked 18 hours straight, and she suspects we all hate her just as much as you do. So what do you say we give her a break? Let her get back to a job I'm guessing is a lot more thankless than yours. This airline sucks. Okay, Doug, we're rolling. This is turning into a very embarrassing moment for candidate Matthew Graham and his campaign for governor. He mentions his daughter Dylan as his greatest success. Quote, the most important job you can have is that of being a parent. If you fail your child, nothing else matters. An interesting quote in light of events occurring at this moment. So you'd say the abuse started a few years into your marriage? I mean, he slapped me over some little problem. And one day, eight years ago, my son spilled soda on our new carpet. Before I could move to protect him, Virgil had knocked him on the ground and began kicking him. And went to protect my baby, but I didn't get there in time. What happened to your son? He died. I came across one of his baby pictures last weekend. That's when the nightmare started again. I'm gonna start you on nitrazepam. That should do the trick. Thank you. I certainly hope your husband was punished for what he did. <laughs> 